Hi crafty friends, it's Donna here from Donna is Playing Paper and I have a pair of cards for you today using a stamp and stencil combo in two different ways. I want to wish a very warm welcome to all of the new subscribers that we've had join the channel lately. Whether you have been here from the beginning or this is your first video, you are always welcome here. Let's get on with the cards, shall we? I'm going to show you parts of the construction of both cards. I've kind of mixed them together to make one Franken card so that you can see how both are constructed without having to watch everything twice. To begin with, we're taping the fishnet stencil from Paper Rose Studio to a piece of white cardstock and blending through that in some yellow and green inks. These colours are going to be mirrored in the colouring of the stamp a little bit later. For this card, I'm doing the ink blending first and then stamping the image, but you'll see later that I've reversed the order for the other card. I'm just mixing the colours around, choosing different areas to blend into and always just being aware of the place that I want to stamp the image. This Bird of Paradise stamp that I'm going to use is large. It's going to take up pretty much the whole height of this card and about half of the width and I'm going to place it slightly left of centre. Once I've finished blending over the stencil, I'm going back in with some yellow, just to break up the high contrast white that was left behind. If you're using a US size card, you won't need to do this next step, but Australian cards are very slightly longer, and so what I've done is just move the stencil into a fairly random place and coloured a little bit of extra on each end just to continue that fishnet pattern right to the edge of the card. And here's the stamp. It's called Bird of Paradise and I'm going to stamp that with Memento Tuxedo Black ink. I've got lots of different ways that I prepare a new stamp but one of them is to just stamp it off onto some scrap paper first to kind of prime the stamp and also to check the image. Once I've done that, I'm going to stamp it twice. Once onto some plain paper, which I'm then going to ink blend off camera, and once onto the panel that we've just finished blending. I don't have a fancy tool for rubbing my stamps on, so I always just pull my jumper down over my wrist to do that job and I also press into any particularly detailed areas of the stamp so that I get a good image. Once I've finished stamping this through the magic of video editing, we're going to switch now to another image that I've ink blended onto as well. You can see that for this image, I've ink blended the darker colors towards the image and faded out to the outside, quite opposite to the panel that we just made together. I've marked onto my backing paper the colors that I'm using for today's image, you can see that I've crossed one of those greens out because when I tried the selection that I had in my hand, I felt that two of them were so similar that it wasn't worth doing both. I'm colouring this very simply, just putting the darkest colours up the centre and towards the bottom of each leaf and then fading away to the lightest colours on the outside. I've used three different oranges to colour the flowers. Once again, starting with the darkest colours at the base of the flower and fading out to the lighter colours. Those of you who have been part of our community for a long time will be thinking, I know Donna, I know. But for those that are new, the music for this channel is composed by my son Darcy, who is just starting his first semester of composition at uni. At this point of the card that we ink blended together, I stopped. But for this darker card, I've added a few extra steps. First of all, I've spattered some clean water onto my panel and sopped that up with a paper towel to add some nice light spatter. Also, I've used grey markers to make a drop shadow around the image so that it will stand out from the background a little. And I've also used some white pencil to add some highlights to the leaves.
the original card and I'm just doing a few little touch-ups to the card and adding a bit more colour to the background near the image before moving on to the construction. I'm cutting one of the edge strips from a piece of paper from the monochrome garden 12x12 paper pack. Finally I'm layering everything up on a pre-folded card base and I'm adding some sentiments from the Big Sentiments 1.0 pack. I hope you've enjoyed the time we've spent together here today. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Until next time, stay safe and I'll see you soon.